Hey peeps, welcome back to my channel. My name is Drew Shea, if you don't know already. And in today's video, I am gonna be sharing seven hair accessories and tools that I recommend for those who have coily fine hair. When it comes to fine hair, it's not that you have thinning hair, those things are different. When you have fine hair, that means that your strands are not as thick. Now you can have high density hair and still have fine hair, which means you can still have a lot of hair on your head. However, those hairs are super duper delicate. It's not the end of the world, y'all. Just think about it as like a box that says handle with care. Fragile. Our hair is still beautiful. However, it definitely takes learning how to take care of it. So with that being said, here are seven things that I recommend. And I'll definitely go ahead and link these things down below so that you guys can check them out so let's get into it one of the things that I've been using over the years that has been amazing are spiral scrunchies. Spiral scrunchies look like those things that teachers used to wear on their wrists and it had keys on it, except it's in scrunchy form. So these kinds of scrunchies are super great because they don't snag on the hair, they don't tug on the hair. Typical scrunchies can get tangled with your hair and then now you have yourself a situation when you're trying to take the scrunchie off. When it comes to fine hair, it does break more easily so that's why it's important to have things like this that don't pull on our hair unnecessarily secondly something that I recommend which is a natural hair staple is a satin bonnet I know that not all of my curly coily haired girls want to wear bonnets and that's fine however for me in my household we gonna wear a bonnet and the reason why it's so great is because you get to let your hair loose in that bonnet, right? There's no type of tension, there's no type of tightness, there's no type of pressure. Your hair just gets to be loose. The reason why it's important to have a satin one is certain materials do tug on the hair. So if you decide you wanna wear like a certain kind of scarf, you can also stick to a scarf. You don't have to do a bonnet. However, just be mindful of the fabric that you choose. Satin is great because it's nice and smooth and it doesn't attach to the hair in any way, shape, and form it doesn't snag on the hair so it's great to have those kinds of things around now the third thing that I would recommend is also having a satin pillowcase it is also great for those times that your satin scarf or your satin bonnet decides to run away from home in the middle of the night if y'all have seen these memes or gifs or videos on social media with the bonnet having a life of its own then you know okay and you've probably experienced it yourself for whatever reason they don't always stay on our heads in the night but then in comes the satin pillow which is almost like a backup plan right so if your satin bonnet decides to clock out and take a vacation without you then at least you can still wake up knowing that your hair was still on a satin surface it's not like oh my gosh you're waking up and freaking out because now now your hair is probably gonna be even frizzier if it's on a satin pillowcase it has the same effect as having a satin bonnet on in the night the great thing with satin as well is that it doesn't suck the moisture out of your hair compared to something like cotton and when it comes to fine hair things like moisture are really important because our hair is really delicate we can use that product that we put in our hair we need it to stay in okay we do not need certain fabrics just sucking it out so Things like satin, again, are great because they're not product suckers. You can rest assured that when you're sleeping on a satin pillowcase or you have a satin covering over your head, you're good. Number four, this is a game changer when it comes to detangling fine coily hair. Now, it's one thing to have fine hair, okay, where your hair is a little bit more delicate, more fragile. It's another thing to have fine coily hair because when you have coily hair, its natural state is just tangled. It stays detangled for 0.5 seconds. So if you have a detangling brush, you want to make sure it's a brush that has flexible bristles and I cannot stress that enough when I was younger I was detangling my hair with brushes that had hard bristles and I just thought this is the way this is how you do it and sometimes I would see people using those detangling brushes that almost look like they belong to dolls and they have flexible bristles but I normally saw people who had like naturally straight hair wavy hair using those so I was like ain't no way that's gonna work for me not until I tried it, girl. All my life, I have been missing out the key 
when you have fine hair is to have yourself a brush that has flexible bristles. The reason why it's important that it's flexible is because you want it to move with your hair. If it is hard, it's going to put way more tension on your hair and it's going to lead to breakage. And when it comes to fine coily headed girls, it is easier for our hair to break. So we don't want to set ourselves up where we're using hair tools that makes it easier for our hair to break and it makes it easier to snag out hair. So get you a brush that has nice flexible bristles. It's also way less painful when you're detangling and using something like that. I have a couple of faves that I will link down below. It's also on my Amazon storefront, but just know that that's a game changer if you have fine hair and especially if you have coily hair, because if you have coily hair, you're probably always going to be detangling. So you're definitely going to need something that moves with your hair and not against your hair. The fifth thing that you want to have in your arsenal is a hair dryer that has a brush built in. I reviewed the Revlon hair dryer that has a brush and I have not stopped using it since. It's my favorite. I will also leave the review that I did for that down below in the description box. If you have a brush with flexible bristles that you're using to blow dry your hair, that means less tension. That means less pulling when you're blow drying and it makes it easier to detangle in the process. You wanna probably get away from like using the combs and stuff while you blow dry and moving over to using the brushes while you blow dry. Now this is definitely a staple for all my naturals out there, but especially if you have fine coily hair, you want to make sure that you have a spray bottle on deck. Whenever you're manipulating your hair in its curly state, you don't wanna do it when it's dry. You wanna hydrate your hair first because if you're doing it while it's dry you are setting yourself up for more breakage something that i have loved for so long are the continuous spray bottles so the standard spray bottle you have to keep spritzing every time you want water and it's like choo, choo, choo. But with the continuous spray bottle, what's great about that is you press it once and it sprays out water for like a couple of seconds. So you can press it once and cover like the whole front of your head. It's amazing. I'll go ahead and link the one that I use down below, but it's important to have a spray bottle in general. If you want to go with the traditional one, great. If you want to go with the continuous spray one, even greater. But just make sure that you have that bottle on hand so that you're never manipulating your hair while dry. So this is last, but it's certainly not least. A lot of people don't know this, but you should not be drying your hair with a standard bath towel. Bath towels will catch onto your hair and it will snag and it will pull. Trust me, I know. If you've ever used them on your hair, you've probably realized that when you look at the towel, there are strands caught up in your towel. That is because when you're you know, using it to dry your hair, it's literally grabbing on and pulling your hair. So it's causing frizz, it's causing breakage, it's causing damage, it's unnecessary. So get yourself a t-shirt towel. This is a game changer. Even if you cannot afford one, you can use an old shirt that you know you don't want to wear anymore and dedicate that to your hair. When it comes to having fine hair again, our hair is more prone to breaking and when our hair is drenched, it is in its most fragile, sensitive state. So when your hair is drenched and then you're putting a standard towel on it, it's a recipe for breaking your hair. So just know that t-shirt towels are your friend. I know that there are probably a few microfiber towels out there that are hair towels, but they probably don't do as much damage. But I would just say, just go for the t-shirt towel. It's smooth, it doesn't pull, it doesn't snag, and it's like the safest bet. All right, y'all, so those are the seven hair tools and accessories that I recommend for my girls with fine, coily hair. We gotta learn how to take care of our hair, okay? And sometimes it's the smallest things that make the biggest difference. If you have fine hair or coily hair or both, go ahead and sound off in the comments. Let me also know what tips that you have for maintaining and taking care of fine or coily or both kinds of hair types. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Please do not forget to join the family. Come to the bright side by pressing that red subscribe button and please turn on that bell notification button so that anytime I post, you'll be up to date. God bless you and I'll see you guys in my next video next Sunday. Deuces.